I'm shuffling. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? Fired up, people. Slim Tim here again, bringing you a WNS again. But first things first, I just want to give a big, big shout out to everybody this past month and two weeks. 600 subs, baby. So, wow. I believe a lot of my videos are getting recognized with the uh, titles and the tabs I guess and getting a lot of y'all people checking in on my channel so I, I you know I just appreciate it I'm, I've been told I inspire I've been told I've been helping people and like I said I'm no expert by any means and I'm you know I'm just glad everybody's tuning in and coming along for the journey of my aquariums because I learn stuff every day so let's talk about my favorite tank now like I said, this is my new, or sorry, my true aquascaped aquarium. And I have to say, I just, I just love the way this tank is turning out. And the reason why I say that, if you can see here, I got the focal point set right there with the rep in the driftwood with the nubus on top of it. Now, when you look at this tank, your eyes are automatically drawn to right here in this whole area of the focal point of the right side of the tank. I said the star grass is overgrowing to the top of the rocks on the middle. So I hope it starts doing that on the right. And I just planted that a couple of weeks ago. And I trimmed that on the left is what I replanted. So, got some serious growth. Also, too, look at that bronze Wendetti crypt. It's not a red crypt. But look at that. It's touching almost to the top of the water. Y'all see that? Uh oh, got a piece of star grass unrooted. How did that happen with shrimp? Anyways, I've never had my bronze crypts grow this tall. And I believe, and this is a different type of dirt than what I used in my 55-gallon aquarium. And I, I don't know what to tell you, people. <laughs> All I know is just growing great, and I can't complain. And if you look at behind there, the Hygro Augustophilia is growing really well. Look at that. That's four stems now. So we're going to let it keep on growing and over, overhang the top of the tank in the back. Probably keep on getting caught up in the current. But here's the left side of the focal point when you're walking around in the foot of my bed. And like I said, it's not much of an eye catcher as the right side. But like I said, just, you know, the way it just shoots straight up to the left side though. Got a carpet to straight stems. And um, that's the copa. In the back, let me get up here and get on the side of the tank. Let's do a side shot. Oh, look how clear. Anyways, like I said, the Pacopa's doing really well. It's just a real slow grower. As you can see, these are my recent buds from the clipping and replanting back there. And down here in front of it is the Luigia repens, which is growing more, is growing differently in this tank compared to my 55 gallon. And if you look here at the original trimmings I put in this tank that's what they did but this shoot I don't it's just growing slow but it's just real thick and it's growing in a kind of a symmetrical wraparound on itself so let me know if y'all have any info on that and like I said it looks pretty cool though I hope it just overhangs the moss here in the sand I might take that moss and tuck it back into that corner so the dwarf hair grass will carpet over here but once it starts touching then I'll do that once again, the mystery plant from Peabody's Paradise Freebie Friday. Tied in with his uh, dwarf hair grass. It's doing good. I'm not sure if it's star grass, though. Because it don't... It's not... It looks similar, but I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to say yet. So ho hopefully... I think it might be Pygmy Chainsaw by looking at it. Because I got that in the 55, and that's what it's doing more than what stargrass does but I'll keep you updated on that of course here's get some shrimp shot yeah big mama there one of the originals along one to the one to the right some other originals but yeah shrimp galore 
All right, let's get this WNS started off. Let's go take all, uh, off to the beta tank. Bryant. All right, people, here we are at Bryant's tank. If you can see back there, I changed the aerator up as size being just one. I mean, being two is now one with the configuration through a pipe, as you can see there, to help draw some current through the tank. And it's being effective. Well, let's go ahead and get off with this WNS. If the iPad would load, I mean, ha, Android would load. Tablet. Alright. We go. Dan Turbo 316. Aggie Vega. Dane SS621. S0. Anxious once yeah one seventeen a new user Henry Lugera one piso seven seven Blizzo man one Kevin Kins Raw thirty one oh eight nineteen eighty nine J Stroman two twenty one Peter Keller is going to probably wrap it up. Yep. So once again, people, I appreciate everybody tuning in, hitting that subscription button, hitting the like button. And as always, welcome you new subscribers. And don't forget, come to fireupfishtanks.ning.com. We'll see you in the chat.